PPC or pay per click is available on search engines and on social media, but it also needs to be considered in relation to what's described as organic. With organic, the strength of your content is what drives likes if you're on Facebook, drives you to the top of a search engine result if you're on Google, but in social media, if you're pay per click, you're basically putting your content towards the top of the page. By doing that, you're hopefully attracting more attention, but more importantly, you're able to measure through the metrics that are behind the scenes, the effectiveness of your content by being able to see how good or badly your content is being received by your buyer persona, you're able to modify your content, change your campaign, or respond to their, uh, their comments that you may be receiving in a way that's positive and helps to encourage engagement rather than deflect the buyer persona elsewhere. All of this enables you to measure, to consider, and to reflect upon your project, and to be able to work towards improving continuously on the work that you do with your content. PPC shouldn't be an end in itself, it should rather complement the work you do in terms of developing high quality, engaging content for your buyer persona. One secret in, uh, in AdWords, especially in search uh, PPC, uh, is that you have to be really, really careful when you are creating campaigns. So if you are using the same keyword in one ad group and the same the other ad group, the system cannot understand that it's the same client, so you are competing each other. So what you have to do is, first of all, filtering and creating different ad groups, plus giving a negative keyword for each ad group in order to ensure the, the whole process. Uh, let's say in the, in the pottery uh, examples we mentioned before, uh, probably someone is looking for uh, pottery prices. Okay, this is a good keyword for you, a good phrase. But if you can see uh, a query like uh, pottery exams in order to finish my coursework, okay, this is not relevant for your case because this probably is a student who won't uh, buy anything for your, uh, from your ESOP. So you are getting this phrase and you are adding it as a negative. So anyone is looking something really, really generic for pottery, Okay, it's excluding your ad from there.